What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Crazy Cycling Channel. I'm actually in Groningen, the Netherlands right now, about to take a look at a very unique piece of bicycle infrastructure slash intersection design. This is something totally unique to Groningen. Uh, it's called Alle Richtingen Tegelijk Groen in Dutch, or All Directions Simultaneously Green. It's about to happen. Let's take a look. The light just turned green for the bikes and basically it looks like chaos. Everyone kind of goes at once. The bikes from there, the bikes from here. Um, and basically the idea with this is that the intersection works like a normal intersection for cars. I don't know how the turning works, but you know, one direction goes and then the other direction gets to go. But there's a separate signal phase for bicycles. And in order to increase throughput at this intersection, uh, the light just turns green for all directions at the same time. And there is no priority rule. It's not a right. The, the person on the right gets to go first. It's just everyone goes and you kind of make eye contact and weave your way through uh, the other traffic coming from the sides. Um, and it looks like chaos, but it's actually not. It's actually very safe and it's just really, really cool to watch. So I'm going to show you this again and then I'm going to grab my bike and bike through this as well. Um, so I did read an article that said that there are 29 intersections like this in Groningen. Maybe it's a little more, a little less now because that article was a few years old. And I think it's pretty unique to Groningen. This is the whole reason why I came here. Maybe there are a few of these in some other towns around as well, but they're really common here. I've cycled through quite a lot. And it's just a really cool, fascinating uh, way of designing an intersection. And it's one of those things that sort of has built in safety by appearing to be unsafe. It's like when a road is too straight, sometimes, you know, it's easy to fall asleep and not pay attention to what you're doing. Whereas when you have curves, you actually have to, um, you know, follow the road and pay attention to what you're doing. Same thing here. Um, you know, you have to go through this by paying attention to what the other road users are doing. And if you do that, you'll get through it safely and it increases throughput. It's pretty cool. This is probably about to turn it to turn again. Let's see what happens here. The cars are still going. There is a bike signal there. And once that turns green, you'll see that it'll turn green for the people here as well as the people over there. And there are also some people on the other intersection coming from there and from over there as well. So. There we go. I think it's about to turn, to turn green. All these people are going. The people are also coming from there. Let's see what they do. There you can kind of see over there that the people coming from across have to wait for the people coming from that side. But again, there is no specific priority rule. It just kind of depends on who gets there first and you know who lets who go. So it's a very, very fascinating design. There is a little symbol here that shows that you have this kind of intersection design. It's this one here. It says Tegele Krun. That means, you know, simultaneously green. And then we do have the light there for the bikes. And, uh, you know, we also obviously have the same normal pedestrian infrastructure as well as car infrastructure, which we'll take a look at in just a sec as well. Okay, we're coming up to this intersection now from a different perspective. It's, uh, it was basically across the street from where I was standing earlier. But uh, let's see what happens once this turns green for the bikes. I'm just gonna go straight this time. All right, I'm kind of in the middle of the bikes here. I think it's about to turn green. Here we go. I'm just gonna go straight this time. Let's see what happens. There's actually a lot more traffic now. So let's concentrate. Let's go, they're all waiting. Actually, let's take a left here, why not? I was kind of talking, so that turned into a bit of a mess. <laughs> But we'll just go up this bridge, turn around, and do the whole thing again. All right, I'm about to actually turn around to go back to the intersection I was at earlier. But here we have the exact same thing. Maybe you can see over there on the sign. Uh, it says Take the Kroon again. And there are some bikes coming from my right. I'm going to turn right, so I need to merge in with them. And this time I'm going to try and pay a little more attention to, um, you know, how I'm getting through the intersection. Should be turning. Pretty soon, I would have thought. Nope. There's another phase for cars. All right, here we go. We're taking a left. And now we straight into another one. Taking a left again. Go in front of this cargo bike. <laughs> and around. It's pretty wild. I'm not that practiced at this, <laughs> but we'll go back to the 
original intersection and do that one again. That one back there is actually a little wild because it's two in a row. Um, but yeah, I guess so far I'm just kind of just letting the other traffic dictate what's going on because <laughs> I'm not used to this yet. But we'll do this a couple more times. And uh, it just puts a smile on my face because it's so crazy. It's pretty fun. Okay, we're coming back up to this original intersection again. You can kind of see some of the churches of Groning in this time behind. You get kind of a nice view for once. Ah, there we go. It already turned green, so now I got to get through this traffic coming from my right. I'm just gonna wait for him, I guess. And yeah, and then through we go. It really is something that takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but it's pretty cool. It's just kind of crazy, and yeah. <laughs> I wanted to come to Groningen specifically to experience that. I'm going to go find another intersection, I think, go through that one and also show you what it looks like again from the side and then we'll conclude this video. Here's another one, it's not that busy. Uh, let's go straight and yeah, we're just kind of letting the traffic go from the right and then through. Oh, that was just a smaller intersection, so not that exciting, but yeah, I guess I can get off the bike and kind of show you how it is here and then we'll call it a video. So this intersection is a lot quieter than the first one, but uh, I'll just point it out again. Uh, so we have one cyclist sort of there coming from my left, quite a few over there, one coming from my right, quite a few over there, and quite a few over there, and in just a sec that's gonna go green for everyone again and they're all gonna weave through each other. <laughs> just puts a smile on my face. Here we go, it's actually turning now, so all the bikes, you know, they're coming from there, they're coming from there, they're going from there, and honestly by the time they kind of reach each other, um, they don't really have to weave through each other too much. I guess they are a little bit there right now. And it just kind of works. It's, you know, kind of like how if you're in, say, India or something, the traffic just kind of flows around you if you're trying to cross the road. Same sort of principle, except obviously lower speeds involved because they're bikes. And everyone makes eye contact, and everyone looks out for each other, and it just works, and it's great. Uh, just great flow. So I love this. I'm so glad I experienced that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little video. I know not just bikes has done a video on this. I believe Bicycle Dutch has as well, um, but now here's my take on it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care, and as always, have a great rest of your day.